hot out already. And it's like nine something. What is it? 9.55 and it's freaking this hot. Why does this have fingerprints all over it? Hey everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with your ghoul sweaty chin and good old Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> it's another sweaty chin kind of day today. Are you going? Are you not going? We're cruising. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx first today. As always, I feel like we always start off there and then from there we just cruise around. The one home goods first. Oh, by the way, my husband went this morning and got us some Starbucks. I usually don't like the pumpkin spice latte and I don't know what has happened to my taste buds because I like this a lot. Maybe it's just because I was getting it cold and I maybe just don't like it cold. But hot, it's really good. And I know it's freaking 500 degrees. It's already 89 degrees today. It's 10 a.m. Long story longer, where are we going today? So we're going to Home Goods right now. We're going to run next door to Michael's again because we stocked that place like no tomorrow. Then we're going to run over to Target, stock Target. I heard this Target was starting to put out Halloween or had their boxes out. So maybe we're going to see actual Target Halloween today. I'm not positive, but a ghoul can dream. So we're going to head over to Target. Then we're going to go out to all the home improvement stores today. So we're going to Lowe's, Menards, and Home Depot. I also need to go to my P.O. Box. I do not know how much stuff is at my P.O. Box. I have been, every time I drive by there, I'm like, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'll go next time. Oh, no, the traffic's too bad today. I'll go next time. Oh, it's too hot. It's fine. I'll go next time. And I haven't gone in like a month. So we're going to go do that. Anyways, we're cruising, right, Mr. Skeleton? What? What, do you all of a sudden not want to wave to people? You're putting your arm down. Oh, I forgot. We've been wanting to go to CVS and Walgreens. Maybe we'll stop at one of those. I don't know. Today might be a big day. I still need to go to Spirit Halloween. We haven't gone to Spirit Halloween. And there's an exciting thing that's going on with Spirit Halloween. If you're part of the Facebook group, then you know. And I'm so excited. There was a little bit of confusion with what was happening. But I'll kind of explain it. I guess I should just tell you what it is. A couple videos ago, or it was sometime when we were at Halloween decor hunting, I said that I had this secret that I couldn't tell you and it was killing me. Um, so what it is, okay, at Spirit Halloween, the witch's sign, you know, like that, that is like a sign that goes in the witch section of the store is going to have my freaking face on it. <laughs> Which is just so freaking weird and exciting and I'm like look ma it's your spooky ghoul It wasn't just a phase grandma and no, I'm just kidding well, My grandparents are super supportive and all excited But so my brother's been out looking at spirit Halloween because I wasn't able to go last week when they first opened And he said that the sign wasn't there So I started thinking oh my gosh because of all the shipping stuff that's going on and things are just so behind and you know I was like, maybe their signage is also behind. I don't know. Or maybe I'm not going to be in it. Because a lot has changed just this year alone with everything that's going on with shipping and COVID and everything. So I thought maybe they had decided not to use it. But regardless, my brother has been wanting to take the girls. He hasn't told them yet, my nieces. He hasn't told them that Aunt Jade is going to be on a sign at their favorite store on the planet, which is Spirit Halloween. They, they, they watch the animatronics all year round. They love Spirit Halloween. And so um, they even play games like they have this game that they play where they pretend to be animatronics They love it. And so my brother wants to surprise them So he's driving all around town looking for this sign the signs though are now starting to pop up Oh, I don't know what's happening in this parking situation right now, but it's giving me anxiety This guy's sticking out this guy's sticking out this guy's not I don't know what's happening, but I'm just gonna park here anyway the whole thing um, I'm really excited about never was planning on it being this like secret that I had to reveal or anything. We're all family, spooky family here. I was so excited. And Grace was the first person to find it. So congrats, Grace, on finding the witch sign with our face on it. Um, and, uh, and put it over on the Facebook group. So I'm so excited. And then somebody yesterday who works also works at Spirit uh, also unboxed it. So I think it's either just now coming in or something like that. Um, maybe it was just like a, a late arrival or maybe only certain stores are getting it. I'm not positive yet on all that. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. I just knew that um, it, my, my photo was going to be used on the witch's sign and they were going to have a little tag there and I'm really excited about it. Some people also thought it was my line, like I had a spirit Halloween line. A ghoul can dream maybe one day, but it is just my face is 
like I welcome you to the witch section essentially which I'm so freaking excited about whoa this person almost got in a whole freaking wreck anyways I'm just all excited you can't really go that way all right we're at home goods and I don't want to miss one opportunity to grab that skull bag so we're gonna go in and we'll continue this conversation afterwards we're going in All right, just left Michael's and Home Goods TJ Maxx Hybrid, and um, it wasn't as good as Tuesday. I'll put it out there, but I did see something that really stood out to me, and it was this cookie jar. That okay, remember I mentioned that matte black skull cookie jar, and I just couldn't get into it because the shape of the mouth. It just didn't. It, there was something that I wasn't. It was like protruding out. It, like I don't know what was happening with this skull, and I was like, what is going on? Okay, well, they had a silver skull today that wasn't doing that. It was the perfect shape skull. It was this silver metal cookie jar canister looking thing. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Other than that, oh, I did see some Ray Dunn bathroom things. Like little um, things that said brushes and stuff or things or something. Uh, suds, like this little soap thing that said suds or one even said soap. They were all Ray Dunn, orange, or sorry, black with orange writing, no skull purse, and it was kind of all picked over. Not a whole lot of new stuff. There were some pillows that we'd already seen before and stuff, but I didn't get visuals of those because we've seen them a million times. Literally the same Ray Dunn pillows we've seen. The spooky, creep it real, all those ones were still there. Um, so now we're going to run into Ross really, really quickly. Oh wait, oh, and then I'll talk about Michael's because we did see stuff at Michael's. But you know what? I'm not too mad about home goods being picked over because the the skull cookie jar or canister or whatever the heck that is i'm all about that all right it's sweaty chin again <laughs> all right just left ross nothing at ross literally nothing going to target next is where we're going we should be we should go to spirit halloween because it's right here but i don't think my brother just went yesterday and said that the sign wasn't there and that they were still putting stuff out so really quickly let's talk about Michaels because we didn't see a whole lot of new stuff but they did put out their whole display like it's all in the main aisle where all of the school supplies were so they moved it from the little weird end cap things to this or a little center things to the whole Halloween section I did get visuals of the I don't know what I want to call it there's like the pastel goth area and then there's like a florally retro kind of, but it's like leopard print. I don't understand what it is. I don't know what, what it, what the whole theme is. Anyways, I saw a couple of new things in this area. I saw a couple of new candlestick holders. It has more Victorian look. They had a couple of these candlestick holders at, at home a couple of years ago. And I love them. They have that very, uh, Gothic look, or they can be more of a vintage or Victorian look, whatever you want it to be. I feel like it could go either way. Uh, oh, and they had little, these little skulls. This was something new I saw. These little baby skulls, and they came in baby pink, black, and silver. Also had a couple of wreaths we didn't see. They had one that had these gold spiders in it with a bunch of floral stuff, and another one that had skulls and floral that was more of that pastel goth feel. They also had some plates that were leopard print, pink, teal, and then there was one that was like a greenish with a skull. Um, but that was really all the new stuff I saw, but I'll keep showing everything else or anything I missed. A lot of it we saw last time. Okay, so also in the witchy line, a couple of new things that I'm not, oh, they had these little, like, little, um, what do you want to call them, like, test tube looking set thing with these little, little moss inside of each test tube. They had, um, yeah, a couple of things. I'll keep showing it because I can't I, where there are pillows and they had a couple of nothing honestly that really stood out to me in this area they did have a really cool hanging bat that was like this little small hanging bat but I feel like I've seen that there before um, they also had this whole spooky area with all the spooky stuff like they had a a rabbit with red eyes and they had a toad like a couple toads a snake um, what else did they have a cat a black cat um, they also had this other area that was kind of a glammy looking area, but it also had test tubes and beakers and was like a scientist area. So it had a couple of pillows. One was sequenced at Octo like 31 and then October on it, I think. Another one was a coffin that said rest in peace. And then another, was there another pillow in that little area? Um, I can't remember, but uh, they also had a bunch of little beakers and test tubes and 
all these little scientist stuff, cloches in this little area. I also had uh, the kind of classic Halloween line that was fully stocked. I got a shot of the whole area and some little pieces that I feel like I missed last time or maybe the repeats and I just didn't remember. Um, but they, uh, it's like more of the classic Halloween stuff. I didn't see a lot of the vintage -y stuff out. They did have a couple pieces. They brought back the cat, the black cat on the pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern thing. Had another spooky house this year. They have a spooky house every year. Then they had a bunch of just orange and black stuff, lots of cutesy stuff. They had pillows that said spooky and trick-or-treat and all the things on, on these little pillows. And, um, oh, they also had the vintage looking pillows. One was a jack-o'-lantern and one was a black cat face. Little things, happy Halloween, trick-or-treat. They had ghosts and spider webs and all the things. They also had these little signs with the little dangly leg guys on them. Uh, lots of little cutesy things in this area. Now we're going into Target and we're going to see if they have any Halloween. So we're going in. Lord, it is hot. Where are we going next? I think we're going to go to Menards and Lowe's Nose. I'm already sweating. It's 11.47, we've been out for an hour and 45 minutes and my neck is literally like a freaking monsoon. It feels like 101. Oh my God. <laughs> Why do we choose these days to go out? This is literally, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. You win, summer, you win. I'm done. Oh my God, I kind of just ran that light. Oh, we just left Target. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention Ross because we didn't see one new thing at Ross. Maybe they had like some pom-pom garland, but we've seen that there before. So anyway, went to Target and they had a couple of things in the dollar spot, a couple of new things. They had the, this cauldron shelf. It's a metal shelf in the shape of a cauldron. I really, really like this for maybe a spice rack. I feel like it would be a really good idea or perfume little rack thing they had a uh, a little tier two tier stand that had little branches coming off of it also had this little cute jack-o-lantern thing it was a black metal jack-o-lantern with orange on the inside they had a cute little towel set that said happy halloween with the jack-o-lantern on it and i think that was it i didn't see any of the beakers or the little uh bat candle pedestals or anything so anyways uh that was kind of that that's all we saw at target ross kind of a slow day today i mean michael's was pretty stocked let's face it but i meant like we haven't really seen new well i guess that that one cookie jar canister that skull canister is amazing but i guess i'm talking about like you know, we're seeing a little like a few good pieces today but nothing that's just like a full new collection we haven't seen yet today. Too freaking hot, Mr. Skeleton. Just left Menards and once again, very either picked over or they're still putting stuff out. Um, I had less this time than last time, I feel like. They had um, a couple of signs, like little neon, like faux neon signs that had little things. One was a, said I think trick or treat and it was a bat. The other one was a little pumpkin thing. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot new. I didn't take video of the stuff we saw last time because, I mean, we really didn't see much to begin with, but um, yeah, not a whole lot there at Menards right now. Um, I'll continue to show what I saw, but nothing really stood out to me except for, I will say this. All right, well, first of all, let me just say, I didn't find a Baja Blast. I'm seeing Baja Blast zero everywhere, like in every little area, but I did find this Calypso lemonade and this is the kind of whatever this is i'm craving this this lemonade situation mm, sounds like a snapple oh yeah yep mm, that's actually perfect not too sweet sour good sour mm, mm, mm. that's real sour Woo! i love it okay next we're going to um Lowe's nose. I also got some chips, some barbecue chips. We might be snacking on here pretty quick because I'm starved. So uh, yeah, I didn't see a whole lot at Menards, like at all, hardly. So now we're going to Lowe's, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, get it together. I know it's hot, bud. Let's see what it says now. I don't want to know. Feels like 102, so it hasn't gone up too much. Are you, no, that can't be right. 
I guess so. It says 95 on my thing, and then it says 91 on this. So, someone's wrong. I almost wore my cami maxi dress, which I normally wear on hot days like this. And I was like, no, I'll get home before it gets too hot. Uh, wrong again. Jade, you were wrong again. Because it's hot. I can't find my lens cap again. So I'm sticking to me because I'm sweaty. There's stuff in my purse sticking to my arm. <laughs> sticking to my arm sweat. And that's where we're at. Oh, no one's here at Lowe's today. Perfect. We're going to go look and see if they have Halloween. I've heard they have really good stuff. They're like fully stocked. I mean, I don't know if this one is. Oh, you're just going way too slow. So I'm just going to cruise on ahead. All right, we're here at Lowe's. This is my favorite. It's Lowe's. Lowe's knows. And let me tell you, they know. They had some good stuff. First of all, they had some big old skeletons. They had one that was similar-ish to Mr. Skeleton. It was 30 bucks, $29.99, which is not a bad price. And then uh, they had a glow-in-the-dark skeleton again this year that was $35. And then another kind of bronzy-looking brown skeleton that was, I think, also $35. All their eyes lit up red. Also had a couple of uh, huge animated jack-o'-lanterns that were, um, like, they, they made noises. I'll just play it here because I, I got it on camera. <laughs> had a couple of hanging decorations that were like hanging animatronic. One guy had this spooky green face. The master will love you right away. <laughs> uh, then, um, then there were a couple other ones that were hanging. One was just this like ghoulish lady. And then a couple of other ones I can't quite remember. a bunch of blow up stuff they had all sorts of mainly nightmare before christmas but also other halloween things they also had this huge hand if you've seen it then you know it's this huge hand uh this thing hand um looks like like a couple of outdoor little pathway lights um also like a mickey and something else that was hanging up uh, like a ghostly Mickey and something else. They also had some really cute animated tabletop decor. They had this candle stick or candelabra thing that was this, um, it was like a bat candelabra. It was really, really cool. Yeah. Loved that. They also had a little radio that did a little something. Uh, they also had, oh, the, the skeleton in the cage. <laughs> Nicholas Caged Jr. <laughs> they also had, what was the other one? Oh, they had like a little owl thing. And I can't remember what the other thing was, but they had a couple of different uh, animated ones. <laughs> also had those like light projector things that kind of spin around in a circle or like it projects a different image on your wall. They had a Nightmare Before Christmas one back this year and one that was like a graveyard scene. It also looked like they had the Haunted Mansion one at one point, but it was sold out. Somebody was actually there looking for it and she was a little, a little tiny thing. And I looked over and I saw that she was trying to like reach up and look. And I was like, hey, do you need help? And I was like, I was born to do this. <laughs> I always keep my eye out just in case if anyone's standing on their tippy toes or can't quite reach, I always offer to help. Cause I feel like that's a tall person. I feel like that's our, our calling. We're gonna go to Michael's really quick. I said we're going to Target and Home Goods, but we're going to Michael's first. And then we're gonna go to Home Goods and hopefully this is not the worst parking job. Oh, and then they also had some light up jack-o'-lanterns and some little jack-o'-lantern figures and i think there was like a little farmer guy with a jack-o'-lantern head a couple other little jack-o'-lanterns and that was pretty much it and anything else i'm missing i'll show oh no, no they had a big skull that made some noise that too 
it's way too freaking hot. I, I, and you know what? It kind of takes away from the good time, if you want my honest opinion. Um, when it's this freaking hot, it's like, because it doesn't even feel like Halloween, you know? It just feels like trash. Let's see what the temperature is now. Feels like 103. No big deal. So we're going in to Michael's really quick to see if they have anything. Last we checked, they had absolutely nothing, but you never know. Just left Michael's. I don't have much battery left, but I wanted to tell you real quick, because we're going to go to Home Goods and Target, and then I can, I can change my battery here in a second. But just left Michael's. Saw, like, the whole witch line all over again. They also had a couple of new things that I hadn't seen before. One was this, like pillow with this leopard print skull on it uh another one was a, a green leopard print pillow that said beware and i saw this snake wall decor i had not seen this out yet um it's like a goldish bronzy-ish uh snake uh wall decor piece and it is so cool i also saw a candelabra that had a bat and spider web. It was a really, really, really pretty candelabra thing. Oh, I saw a little cauldron in the little witchy section, the spider on it. It was ceramic. Uh, really, really, really pretty pieces right now at Michael's. I'm really excited to see the rest of that witchy line because I saw a couple of new things just now that we didn't see at the other store. So I'm all excited now. Um, okay, we're gonna run in really, really quickly to Home Goods, see if they have anything. left home goods and I met one of y'all out there I'm meeting a bunch of you this year I uh, usually I maybe meet one or two of you every year and I've met probably three so far three of you so far maybe four it gets me all excited I love meeting y'all and figuring out what you're looking for and hunting for and chit-chatting about it I met Carrie here at home goods anyway it's good to talk to her we just chit chatted a little bit she was like i was wondering if i'd run into you eventually <laughs> and I, I i always hope that if you live in the area that we do bump into each other one day we can chit chat so i always love it it makes my whole day all right so anyways it was nice meeting you carrie and um yeah so not a whole lot at home goods today kind of a slow day which makes me nervous did see a couple of cool new things uh this huge ceramic spooky house that was really cool it was huge um also a couple little like there was like a little tabletop decor sign that said happy halloween uh there was also uh some of those uh, wooden kind of wooden scenes like framed wooden scene scenery <laughs> i don't know what it is and oh saw some cool plates some halloween plates they were black with uh, like jack-o'-lanterns and little Halloween-y looking things on it. Very Halloween-ish. Um, and then I think uh, there were ceramic plates. And I think that is all we saw there. Oh, I wanted to go into Kirkland's. Should we go into Kirkland's really quick? Let's run in really, really, really quick. All right, well, I think we're done for the day. We're gonna go to Ross, but I'm cutting myself off. That's it, that's it. That's all I'm allowing myself to do. <laughs> um, we went to, we just left Target. Let me put a little more of this on. You can never have too much hand sanitizer, in my opinion. Let's just bathe in it, right, Mr. Skeleton? I thought I had snacks. What did I buy? Where did I put that stuff from? Where's my snack? I got some Skittles. Oh, here they are. Here they are. These guys. Oh, oh. This guy's backing in. These Shriekers. Apparently, some are so sour they will make you shriek. We'll see about that. Let's try a couple. Even though I do not want sugar right now, what I want is actual food, but... So far, not that sour. Let's try a green one. Oh, I think the first one was supposed to be sour. Right. If you guys come from the generation of sour candy, if you know, you know. Where's my barbecue chips? Those were not giving me what I needed. All right, if you come from the generation of sour candy, then you know. 
there was this like time in the 90s I feel like when maybe late 80s I can't remember when sour candy was like the thing it, and it wasn't just sour candy it was like sour candy to the point where you want to die because it, your head's gonna explode because I maybe I'm just thinking of warheads now but they had tear jerkers they had warheads they had cry babies you had like so many different sour candies back then now I'm just going in for the barbecue chips so many different sour candies back then that would just blow your mind. These chips are good. Ladies barbecue. I can't believe those candies were not sour. Okay, so let's talk about what we saw at Kirkland's. So, at Kirkland's, I was really wanting this sign. There's an apothecary sign. It has this dark, folky, witchy feel to it. They had them at Kirkland's, so cool. Like a grayish wooden sign. They also had a bunch of just different stuff. Little block signs that said trick or treat, figurines. I think one was like a dog ghost or something, something like that. Also had different pillows, one that said boo, and ones that had ghosts, and ones that had, there was a really cool one, it was a black pillow with orange jack-o'-lanterns on them. Lots of farmhousey kind of style stuff, which is, I think that's kind of what Kirkland's has been doing lately in general the last couple of years. Or maybe Kirkland's is just that place in general. I don't know. Um, but they also had a really cool wooden sign that had bats flying up it. I think it was like a moon with bats flying up. And then they had uh, other signs that said different things. I think Hocus Pocus. And maybe that was a pillow that said Hocus Pocus or maybe both. They had a black branchy wreath. They had a bunch of really cool stuff. Pillows tabletop decor they had a good mix of all different kinds of stuff but let me just tell you that apothecary and cemetery signs were the coolest but then we went over to target saw a couple things in the dollar spot but nothing i didn't get any visuals because we had seen it's the same stuff we saw at the other one and i ran into another one of you from the spooky family laura we chatted her mask was so cute it's like this halloween mask had like little spider webs and like little halloween characters like maybe little spiders can't remember looked really comfortable on the face too like it had like a little nose thing. i don't know but it looked really comfortable so and also we just chatted about oh, her purse was super cute and everything everything spooky ghouls unite and then, yeah, and we just sat there and chatted. And you know ghoul jabbed her jaws. And I always feel bad because whenever I meet spooky family, I just sit there and jab my jaws because I because <laughs> I want to talk about, I need to talk to somebody about Halloween, okay? I mean, my husband and I talk about Halloween, you know, quite a bit. But, I mean, I'm, I'm always looking for, you know, the spooky family out there so we can talk about what we saw or what we're looking for or Halloween decor styles and all that kind of stuff. So today was a really good day to see spooky family out there and I I'm so excited it really like I get so excited to sit around and talk about Halloween and anyways okay so Target didn't have anything else though but I will say they were setting up it looked like they were setting up their Halloween section because they had these orange things like the orange walls up so I'm gonna be stalking that place almost every single day oh that was a huge freaking bird that just flew almost into my windshield but barely missed it i don't know if that was a hawk or an owl or what that was but it was huge it's kind of hot today 96 degrees i really wonder what the um oh, i don't hear the, the do you guys ever hear the rustle of a chip bag and you your mouth starts watering <laughs> Pavlog's dog or what, y'all? All right, really am curious to see what the heat index is right now because I'm not even joking you. It's so hot out there. You like can't even get comfortable hot. You know what I mean? 105, no big deal. No big deal at all. Get this, and 51% humidity. So, you know, it's just hot and clammy out there. It's like Satan's butt crack out there, y'all. Mm. 
Okay. Let's get to going. Alright, hey everyone. It is another hot day. Halloween. What is the sun? What is happening? Uh, get off my neck, sun. Uh, you're standing on my neck. If you know, you know. It's another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. I mean, with Sweaty Chin slash Flummy the Flamingo. So my allergies are so bad today. Um, the heat advisory is officially gone right now. Like there's no longer a heat advisory, but don't worry. It's still going to be 94 degrees instead of 105. So there's something to look forward to today. We're only going to a couple places this morning. First, we're going to go get ourselves a pumpkin cream cold brew is what we're going to go do. Then we're just going to hit some places early so we don't completely sweat. Yesterday was so bad. I could have fallen asleep at like 8 p.m. last night. I was so tired and just from just being out in the heat. So we're going to go out early today and hit a few places. Um, and then I got to go cut my mom's hair. I did her hair on Tuesday. Like I, I dyed her hair on Tuesday, but I ran out of time. But since we didn't get a chance to go to Dollar Tree or Tuesday morning on Tuesday, <laughs> um, we're going to go back out and I'm going to cut her hair. And then, uh, yeah, but I'm, so I'm just going to go out this morning. It's 930 in the morning and this person is a Sunday driver slower than anything I've ever seen in my life. We're cruising. First, we're gonna go get ourselves a pumpkin cream cold brew, like we even need it because our allergies are so bad. But you know what? You only get a couple of things you enjoy in life, and there are too many things right now that I don't enjoy. So we're gonna get ourselves something that we, <laughs> mainly just the heat, okay? It's, it's turning me into, uh, the heat turns me into a monster. Anyways, so we're going this morning to, before we go cut my mom's hair, we're gonna go to, TJ Maxx, then we're gonna go to Tuesday morning. Okay, this ear today, I can like hear it. I can like hear the wax build up in this ear today. My allergies have it attacked this ear today. So then we're gonna go out to Tuesday morning and Dollar Tree, wait, and Target, but they're all kind of in a little area. Anyway, so that's kind of what we're doing today. So I might do, okay, my neck is on fire, son. This is why we have issues. This is why we can't be friends. You're literally attacking my neck. I can't. <laughs> why is it summer? <laughs> so I was talking to my mom on the phone because my mom is a summer person. My mom and I are total, I mean, we're opposites in a lot of ways and then we're very similar in a lot of ways. So we're similar in that we're both very animated people and not afraid to be goofballs. So I'm very lucky that neither of my parents are afraid to be goofballs. I feel like that helped me become the total weirdo that I am. <laughs> so my mom always did, you know, all the voices and all the, I think I told this story before where my mom would do this thing where she'd tuck me into bed, then she'd turn off the light and pretend that she left my room and then hide behind this little area where my door is. It's kind of like a little nook there. She'd hide there and like pretend she shut the door and so I wouldn't see anything and then all of a sudden I'd hear, I want to suck your blood, ah! <laughs> because my brother and I were terrified of this soap opera, Dark Shadows, that she used to watch. She would play that prank on my brother and I. She's always been that way, she still does. She's never afraid to be goofy, which is what I love. And neither is my dad, really, and it's so funny because he's like a little bit more, like if you met him just right off the bat, you might think he's a little bit more serious but he's a total goofball as well. So um, he is a more of a dry, sarcastic humor, which I think I got both of my parents. I got my dad's dry, sarcastic humor and my mom's goofiness all in one person. <laughs> I think that's probably a lot to fit into one human being, but whatever. Oh, is there another Starbucks anywhere at all in the freaking world? Because this is, <coughs> what the? <coughs> Looks like we're just going straight to TJ Maxx because that's a big nope right there. Anyway, so now we're just cruising out to TJ Maxx. We're coming for ya. We're gonna go see if you got the if you got the skull purse, TJ Maxx. I really don't know what else I'm looking for out there. I always say like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> but 
Uh, and then I never am done. If I don't see anything else, I'm happy with the collection I got so far this year. Uh, but I also know that every time I'm like, oh, th that's it. That's all I need. There's something else that I've been looking for for like 500 years. And I, I don't even know what themes I'm doing. You would think that I'd be planning this. No, no plans. Just purchases. <laughs> No plans, just purchases. That's that's the motto of the year. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys at TJ Maxx because we're almost there. All right, we're here at TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx and I had to call my husband really quick. So I'm now here at Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning. Uh, but at TJ Maxx, we didn't see a whole lot of new stuff, to be honest with you. It looked really picked over. Um, it was really, really busy already. So my guess is the people who wanted stuff came and snagged it. Um, it was mainly like a lot of the stuff we saw last time. Uh, we did see a couple of new things. Saw this reddish fuchsia-ish skull that was really pretty. It was like a velvet feel skull. And then um, a really cute uh, skull canister thing. That was like a glass canister with a little skull on front. Saw a Ray Dunn ghost mug. Uh, a Ray Dunn, like a little uh, soap dispenser that said witch's brew on it. That's uh, like an iridescent. It was really cute. Um, also saw, I don't know, a couple of little things on this little end cap. But it, really all they had was on this little end cap. Where last time I was there they had an entire aisle. Like a, an aisle, an end cap, like a couple of different aisles. This one it wasn't quite... It was, it was pretty picked over. Um, I did see though a Ray Dunn, like a ghost situation. It was like a big ghost in the middle and two ghosts on the side and it said boo on it. Big ceramic piece. I also saw skull soap dispensers, a gold one and a black one. And they were actually, they weren't plasticky. They were very, I think they were ceramic. When I felt them, they felt pretty heavy duty. So, um, and then from there, that was kind of it. I mean, really, we didn't see a whole lot at TJ Maxx this time. Um, anyways, I'm here at Dollar Tree and I'm here at Tuesday morning, so we're going in. Here at Tuesday morning. I just left Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning, and we'll talk about it on the way to my mom's because we're going to run to Target, which is right across the street, like directly across the street. So um, we're going to run over there really quick to see if we have anything, just speed walk right through, and then we'll we'll talk all about what we saw. My pumpkin cold brew in Target, thankfully. Oh, and she made it good. Oh yeah, she made it real good. Hello. Hey, I'm on my way. You're on your way. Okay, good. Um, I'm leaving Target by your house, so I'm close. All right, love you. All right, love you, bye. My mom made me fresh salsa from her garden, y'all. I'm so excited. She has the best freaking salsa. Oh, man, it's good. Okay. So, let's talk about what we saw at Tart. Oh, wait. Dollar Tree. Let's start with uh, Tuesday morning because that's where we went first. So, Tuesday morning is kind of similar well, actually, way less stuff than what we saw when we went out with Voltaire. Way less stuff, but still all the most random stuff. Um, there were a couple of cute vintage-looking items, like a little jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat, and um, maybe, oh, there was also a, a cat, a black cat. There was also a cute little snow globe thing that had a witch hat on the snow globe and a little stand. Also, like a, a little trio of jack-o'-lantern lantern things so they, they did have a couple of things just nothing that really caught my eye that i was really just excited about um and i didn't get anything that voltaire and i saw already in that video because a lot of that was just you know drinkware and like uh, tiki mugs and random things like that so um but they did have a lot of you know stuff like that wreaths and all that and it's just a lot, but nothing that's really, nothing that caught my eye exactly, but I, I still wanted to show it just in case there was something in there that was your style that you're looking for. Um, they also had some jack-o'-lanterns uh, that were kind of vintage looking. They remind me of some of the ones that are over on, uh, what's that one Christmas place that we go to? The Christmas, it's that vintage place. Why can't I think of it? Christmas traditions, that's what it is. But they're not quite as detailed or... They don't look as nice. It's just like the face looks vintage, but they're not really painted on that well. It's kind of just sponge painted or something. 
Um, anyway, so then went over to Dollar Tree. They had all of their wall signs up, or most of them. Uh, there were a couple of ones from last year that we saw. Some of the vintage looking scaredy cat one, the happy Halloween one with the jack-o'-lantern, and there was like a ghost one, I think. All of those were kind of that vintage look. They also had the Witches Society one that we've seen a couple years now. They also had some stacked pumpkins. They also had signs with a bunch of little sayings on it or different things like little signs within a sign. Um, and uh, some cute stuff. I mean, they, and uh, stacked jack-o'-lantern sign and uh, lots of, and like signs that say beware. There was a coffin shaped one this year that said trick or treat on it. Uh, they also had uh, different signs that said like beware or what was the other one? Welcome, uh, just different signs like that. Lots of cute stuff there. So I'll just continue to show all the signs that I saw. They also had some little hanging uh, ghosts and they also had all those little like uh, they look like garland but they're a little spider a pumpkin um, ghosts different you know little garland looking creatures that were on the wall also had uh, a couple of bandanas one was a witch flying on a broom if you know you know and then a couple more pieces in there I didn't get because somebody was kind of trying to you know they're trying to you know herd me the aisle herding is real since the pandemic because no one really wants to stand close to each other or reach over each other. So they just like herd you from afar and like kind of pressure you to go down the aisle. But they had like a couple other things, like just some like beaded, like kid stuff, like you put in their little, you know, trick or treat bags or whatever, little skulls and stuff like that. So I didn't get all of that little kitty stuff, uh, but it wasn't decor. It was more of like, you know, treat bag stuff. Uh, I saw these little projectors that are really cool. Uh, they're like these little projectors that project a little skull uh, onto the wall. Another one is like a, a Halloween scenery. They had those little um, motion detector uh, ghost and witch with a cauldron. And when you press the button, it says, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Remix. <laughs> Kansas remix, y'all. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Mm, 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 mm. Halloween, hold down. <laughs> That's pretty much all I saw at uh, Dollar Tree, but they looked like they had a bunch of boxes out still. So, okay, so then at Target, saw a lot in there. I always call it the dollar spot, but it's now their bullseye playground. Oh. And a couple of things we've already seen, like the tiered branchy platter and the cauldron shelf thing, little cloche thing. They had, they had all of that. But they also had new there little mini chalkboards. One of them was a bat, another was a jack o' lantern, and the other one was a cauldron. They also had more of their beakers out. I saw a pink beaker and a little, another little thing. And I can't remember what color the one that looks like um, a device in which you, you know, partake in grassy substances. <laughs> Just in case you got kids out there, that's what I'm gonna put out there. Um, I don't remember what color that one was. Um, and then they had the orange one. Uh, they also had these gumball machines that looked really cool. It was like this little glass looking uh, spooky gumball machine. Uh, I hadn't seen that out in the wild yet. Saw some little light up uh, potion bottle looking things that um, they had these a couple years ago. I got one that said Witch's Brew. They brought back, these ones look a little bit different. Uh, it's like a black, a matte black bottle that lights up. They also had these little snake, like this little figurine, this little snake, and they also had a stack of books. Um, so they did have a lot of their bullseye playground out there at this one. That was it for shopping today. Just a really quick run because I got to get home. My husband needs the car. I got to cut my mom's hair. We got to do all the things today. We didn't see the freaking skull purse either, by the way. Dang it. Woo, they're loud today. Tornado. <laughs> Not really. It's just tornado siren testing day, everybody. Everybody stay calm. It's tornado siren testing day, y'all. Because we live in Kansas. We're in the tornado. Tornado alley. Woo! Sirens are blasting. They're Baja blasting. Hey, everyone. It is another day. Halloween decor hunting with me 
and good old Mr. Skeleton. And I am so excited for today and I'm sure you know why. It is officially September 1st. It's Halloween, y'all. I, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bittersweet. Does anyone else feel like that? Like it's happening too fast, people. I feel like it's taking forever and then September gets here and I'm like, wait, no, I'm not ready yet. You know, kind of thing. Every time, every time. I say this every year, I feel like. Anyways, I'm ready. It's September 1st. I've got my Halloween Michael Myers. He's coming home, y'all. I got my, my Halloween shirt on. Anyways, right now we're gonna go get our pumpkin spice cold brew. We're making our basic witch rounds this morning. Um, so we're gonna go get our pumpkin cream cold brew. That's what it is. Then today we're mainly stocking targets today. And um, we're gonna go out to a couple of TJ Maxx and Home Goods. And we're gonna go out to, we're gonna cruise to Joann's. And then we're gonna go over to Burlington. And that's the plan, Stan. And I'm so excited because it is 78 degrees. It's only supposed to be 80 degrees today. I say only. My ideal weather is like in the, in the 50s, like mid to high 50s. That's my ideal uh, Halloween decor hunting where I can layer up and we can just feel all the fall vibes, but I'll take the 80 degrees over the 107 degrees. So today felt so nice out this morning. It was like 65, oh, it was beautiful. And I'm just excited because my house, uh, my husband and I sleep on the second floor and it is so freaking hot up there in the summer just it, even with AC and everything it's just you know with heat rising it just feels hot up there and with our dogs and everything else I'm ready for wait are the leaves changing I'm not convinced the trees are as green as they once were I haven't been outside in like two days and in these last two days, the leaves started changing on me. Because, you know, we've been playing that game. Is it fall or is it dead game? And I think it's fall, y'all. I think it's happening. It's happening, people. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm here. Wrong one again. Uh, yes, can I get a grande uh, pumpkin cream cold brew, please? Mm. Oh, man. That pumpkin cream. Oh, God, it's good. My cousin is coming in town tomorrow. I'm so excited. I don't know if we'll go out Halloween decor hunting or not. I'm not quite sure. It may be raining on Friday. So if it is, we might go out. Um, if not, we're supposed to go to my mom's pool. And by my mom's pool, I mean she's going to go to my mom's pool. And I'm probably going to be editing in the little cabana area. I say cabana. It's not that fancy. It's, it's a screened-in porch. Oh, I meant to tell you guys. I got the skull purse I was looking for. Uh, so TJ Maxx had it online for like 2.5 seconds. Most of the time when things have been selling out like this, then you end up getting an email saying, sorry, we couldn't fulfill your order, whatever, whatever. Out of stock, all that kind of stuff. But nope, I got it. I got, I got the black skull purse. All right, Mr. Skeleton, now my purse is stuck on your knees. I'm going in, we're at Michael's TJ Maxx Hybrid. Oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> TJ Maxx Home Good Hybrid and Michaels. I don't know what I'm talking about now. We're going in. Going into Home Goods. Oh man, it's so nice today. Oh wait, I forgot my mask. Mr. Skeleton, we saw Spooky Family in the wild. We saw him, didn't we, Mr. Skeleton? What even peeked in to see ya? We just left Home Goods and Michaels. And we're gonna cruise over really quickly to Target. We just left Home Goods and Michaels, and we saw some spooky family out there. We saw Molly. This was hilarious. I'm walking to my car. Molly rolls up. She's leaving. 
and she says, rolls down her window and says, we're cruising. <laughs> and I said, to Joanne's. And people probably thought we were freaks of nature, but I love it. And then Heather came up and I, I, I seriously, and we went into Michael's together. Honestly, it was so nice meeting you, Molly and Heather. It makes my entire day to meet spooky family out there. So nice to meet you, Molly and Heather. And I hope you found some good stuff out there. So we're cruising next to Target. We're here at Target. We're going in to Target to see what they got. Forgot to talk about Home Goods and Michael. So let's talk about there. At Home Goods, I saw a couple of good things. Saw some more of those little jack o' lantern. Uh, they're kind of like cauldron looking things with jack o' lantern faces on them. Saw a couple of those and ones that say trick or treat. Also saw this like really cute little pumpkin like statue thing. That was that was a pretty good size and it was cute. Saw one of those little radios, those uh, vintage looking radios we saw last year. I think we saw those the last couple of years. Um, it didn't work though, and they never do. I saw a couple other things in this area that I thought, oh, it was like this open mouth cat situation. One of them was ceramic and the other one was more of like a paper mache look. There wasn't a whole lot out, but you know, they had some pieces in there that, that looked nice. They had a couple of Ray Dunn canister things. One said, which please, and I think the other one said, happy Halloween. They also had a couple of the bathroom stuff we saw last time. They also had, what, what else did we see? This like uh, ceramic Frankenstein looking guy um, that's different than the other ceramic Frankenstein guy that we've seen before. Um, and there was something else in that little area too. Some uh, Hocus Pocus wine glasses, some Ray Dunn shot glasses, and Ray Dunn wine glasses. We saw a couple different ones this time. One that said Mr. and Mrs. that had, I think, a cat on it. Saw a couple of blankets, some uh, uh, sugar skull blankets. Uh, there was a black blanket and a white blanket with sugar skulls on it. Saw a couple of cute Halloween napkins with little skeletons and jack-o'-lanterns on it, like little cocktail napkins. And I want to say that was it. Then we went next door to Michael's and saw more in that little magical line. We saw uh, they had a couple of potion bottles, different types. They had some little shorter square ones uh, that said just different things. They had little, little different things at the top, like a little bat or, you know, just little different like stoppers at the top. And then uh, they had ones that were more round, like circular looking, that I think were a different colored glass. I think those ones were. Um, they had some different beetles in different colors, like gold. I think the other one was blue, and I can't remember what the other one was. They also had some new tabletop decor signs. One that said something about magic, or cooking up magic, or something like that. I think one said something about potion. Pick your poison, or something like that. I think that would be cute for a little bar area. One had moon phases on it. What else did they have in this? Oh, they had this little crystal thing. This little, like, votive holder. Crystal votive holder. They had a green one and a purple one, and it looked like crystals. And then you put a little votive candle in there, but it was $24.99 for a small piece like that. That just blew my mind, I'm not gonna lie. What else did they have? Well, they also had the moon wreath. The, the, the moon wreath that has the moss and the little mushrooms on it and like a little uh, little rock. It's like a dangling little rock thing. Anyways, that's pretty much all I saw there. Didn't see a lot uh, in any of the other lines there. Went over to Target, saw a couple of things at Target starting to come out. First of all, in their dollar spot, we saw a couple, I mean, sorry, their bullseye playground. Saw a couple of new things there. This little candelabra thing. It's like a little plastic candelabra. I will say it's very plasticky. Lots of plastic. Also had some bright colored looking skeleton things, like little, a skeleton and then a rat skeleton and then uh, oh, a dog skeleton. They were very colorful, like ombre looking. They also had a, what else did they have? Skeletons, they had, oh, little skull candles. They had a blue one, a pink one, and a purple one. And I wanna say that was it, that was new in the dollar spot. Uh, but in this other little area, it was kinda like this little end cap area, they had some Halloween bath towels and Halloween bath rugs, which I'm all excited about the bath rugs. I don't remember, oh no, they have had bath rugs in the past, I feel like. But anyways, um, they had a black and white spider web bath rug, a gray bath rug with a ghost on it, and then one that said Happy Halloween on it. Loved all of them. They also had matching hand towels. So they had the spider hand towels, where it has like a little set that has, you know, uh, 
one towel has a spider on it. The other towel is a spider web. They had a witchy one that had a witch flying on a broom on the front. And then the other one was candy, I think. Then the last set was said Happy Halloween. And I want to say the other towel had jack-o'-lanterns all over it. Okay, I'll just say now. I was a little overambitious per usual when it comes to where we were going today. So we're going to have to continue the hunt tomorrow. But uh, tomorrow morning early and go out to Joann's and cruise out to Joann's and go to Burlington and all that tomorrow. We're still going to go to Target and we're going to go to Walmart. Um, it's 1.41. I was hoping to get home by 2, so we're running a little bit behind. Target. Didn't see a lot of new stuff. This, there was somebody at the at the dollar, no, what is it? The Bullseye Playground that had a bunch of boxes. So they were clearly unwrapping things and putting things out. But I did see they were putting out, uh, they put out all their Halloween candy. I didn't get a good visual of it because it was just bags of candy. Um, but uh, they did have a couple of bakeware items that I got shots of. Um, they had some Pyrex dishes. One had jack-o'-lanterns all over it, all around it. And the other one had uh, spider webs and little spiders. And they even had a hide and eat boutique one, just little small glass bowls. They also had some cupcake liners. One said boo. One was like a little set with multiple like little designs. Um, and then there was one set that had little toothpick things that you stick in that were really cute. They had little skulls and pumpkins and bats, I think. They also had some spatulas in this area. Uh, they had a couple of bigger spatulas. One said something about a witch and the other one, I can't remember what it said. They also had little baby spatulas uh, in there as well. A couple of different ones to choose from. They also had the Halloween waffle makers. Uh, they had a skull one, a, was the other one a pumpkin, I think? And then a spider web one. Also had, what else do they have out there? Little, cute little bakeware stuff. Um, and that was kind of, oh, they also had some sprinkles in this area. It looks like they're getting ready to put out Halloween any minute now. So um, we're gonna be stocking Target. I'm gonna drop this stuff at home really quick so I can, cause I gotta go to the grocery store as well. Um, so I'm gonna gr drop this stuff off and we're gonna go to Walmart. We're going to Wally World. All right, we're back out and we're cruising to Walmart to go see if they have Halloween out yet. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton is already sleeping. We're here at Walmart. Just left Walmart and they had a bunch of Halloween out. They're still putting stuff out. There were still some empty shelves, but they had a good selection already. They had a whole little area that had um, like little jack-o'-lanterns lanterns that kind of stuff skeletons and uh just like little spooky things in this area more outdoor kind of stuff um they also had these little plastic doll heads that we've seen before like baby doll heads and i'm um, like they've been there the last couple years and that kind of stuff anyway so then i went down the halloween section like the tabletop decor and wall decor and all that kind of stuff and they had a bunch of stuff out they had a whole little Nightmare Before Christmas line that had uh, Jack and Sally, little statue figurine things. They had uh, little baby snow globes, little like tabletop decor that had Jack and Sally on it. Like, you know, like little signs or whatnot, like tabletop decor sign things. Um, and then just little Jack and Sally things. Lots of Nightmare Before Christmas. They had a, a little bobblehead thing they had, I mean, just a lot of little cute um, Nightmare Before Christmas thing. They also had a little country line where it's kind of like a Halloween hoedown, y'all, uh, where they had like a little truck with pumpkins in the back. They had uh, a couple of different wall decor pieces and had like a bunch of like buffalo print. They had uh, a little, those little birds. I've seen a couple of the little birds at Target. Um, normally, but they had uh, these little bird things, like the, the checker print, just a couple of different uh, country farmhouse kind of Halloween stuff. Then they also had a little vintage area that has some vintage figurines. One was a witch pumpkin person. Um, the other one was a black cat. And then they also had a witch 
and another pumpkin person, I think, jack-o'-lantern person. And then a couple of like vintage looking pieces or air, like anything you could pair with any sort of Halloween vintage line. And they had some really cool wall decor. I think one of them said like, welcome to my haunted home or something like that. It had a cool frame. Um, they had some really cool skull pieces. They had this wooden uh, skull wall decor um, like it was like a wooden circle piece with a skull on it and it had a little tassel hanging from it they had uh, another little skull banner type of thing and then uh some stacked skull pieces they also had these really cool bottles this was more of like a gothic area this wasn't as much in the vintage line They're like white bottles with different things on them one had a spider one had a skull and the other one had a death moth on the bottles uh, they also had, uh, I can't even remember what else was in this area. There was so much to look at. All of it was really cool. I'm sure I'm missing things that I was so excited about. Um, but there was a lot to see in this little area. Just all sorts of spooky things. They were putting all the stuff out. Um, and they still had a lot to go, but this area was pretty stocked. Um, with just different tabletop decor, wall decor. But that's pretty much it for the day. That was, that was it. Let's get you back in action there you go sir all right we're back another day same hat <laughs> all right halloween store halloween store don't take away our halloween store <laughs> oh lord hey everyone it is another day halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. And we are off. We are going to a bunch of places in a really short amount of time, hopefully. Well, first of all, I guess I should talk about my hair. I'm wearing this hat for a reason today, because check this out. <laughs> I bleached my roots last night and didn't have time to color my hair. I still don't know what I'm doing with this hair. And it's kind of the point now where it's so washed out that I could almost just stick it out and continue to wash it out well my mom's birthday party is saturday night and i don't think i can go with this kind of hair or i just don't want to go with this kind of hair so i'll probably just keep it orange for the season and then uh go and then wash it out so and then i'll work on washing it out during beanie season <laughs> you know cold weather season where i can put a beanie on and no one's gonna see my roots that's probably what i'll do oh my goodness nose is running down my face randomly this is just perfect off to a great start today, Mr. Skeleton. So it is what it is. Anyways, also, I've got a bunch of stuff making noise in the back because I'm going to, right now, I'm going to run to Savers, drop off a bunch of stuff that's been sitting in my garage waiting for me to drop off. I'm out every single day, basically, Halloween decor hunting, and I haven't once done this. <laughs> so I'm going to drop off a bunch of stuff at the donation place. Then we're going to cruise over to Walmart we're gonna go see if they have anything different than the other Walmart we were just at yesterday. So the reason I'm going to Walmart, the real reason since we were just there yesterday and saw a really good collection of things, but you never know what else we'll find. So my brother has been looking for this action figure for my niece. I am Flemmy the Flamingo today and I wasn't like this at all until I just got in my car and all of a sudden, the floodgates opened, the Flemmy floodgates. <laughs> and I feel like this whole vlog is me talking about my brother. I don't know what's going on, but my brother and I are, uh, by the way, are a year apart. So, and he's a Leo, I'm a Libra. We were like born best friends. We've always been super close, the best of friends. I feel bad for anyone who has to hang out with us because of all of our inside jokes. So my brother's been looking for an action figure for my niece. And um, it's this wrestling action figure from AEW. And I haven't watched wrestling in years. My brother and I used to watch it all the time growing up. Um, my first wrestling match, I still have the t-shirt from that event. Uh, it's an Undertaker t-shirt. <laughs> my brother and I were obsessed with the Undertaker. Anyways, my brother's looking for this action figure named Darby. Darby Allen, is that the name? I don't know. I, I, he texted it to me. I'm just trying to remember if that's what the name is. But it's Darby something. And my niece's name is Darby. So he's looking for the action figure for Darby. Because she loves this wrestler and has the same name and all this kind of stuff. I'm here to drop off this stuff, so hold on. Does anyone else feel like, okay, I hate dropping off donation stuff, but after I do, 
I feel like a, a whole weight has lifted. I'm like, oh, one last thing to worry about. Now we are headed to Wally World, Walmart. Here we come. So, um, anyway, so yeah, we're looking for Halloween, but we're also looking for this action figure for my niece. Well, for my brother, because my brother wants to give it to her for her birthday or for Christmas. So, we're on the lookout. He can't make it out there today. I looked for it at the other store yesterday. They didn't have anything. So, we're heading out here. We're going to go see what they got. And then I think after that, we're going to go to the Home Goods, the fancy Home Goods, to see what they got. Uh, we haven't been there in a couple weeks. Then we're gonna run to Joann's and Burlington, and if we have time, we're gonna run to Target. It is early enough that I'm hoping this Walmart isn't just insane, because let me tell you, this Walmart is always insane. There are people everywhere all the time. I don't think this Walmart ever sleeps. All right, we are here at Walmart. Here we come, Walmart. Here we go, we're going into Walmart. my god it feels like fall today you guys it feels incredible out i almost ripped my entire nail off by the way so we didn't see any halloween we saw there was a little bit of halloween candy i didn't even get video of but there was no halloween here but still had school supplies which is to be expected this this one takes forever but i'll tell you what we did get we secured the goods came through for the brother and got this Darby Allen action figure. It was here. We got our action figure. No Halloween. So now we're cruising out to this fancy home goods. I'm so excited that I found this, this thing, this action figure for my niece or for my brother. I just love helping people. I'm not going to lie. My brother was like, Hey, can you check Walmart if you're out and about? And I'm like, I sure can. We're cruising. <laughs> so we're going to go check. For Darby. Oh, this is where we saw those hay bales last time. But they're not there anymore. No more hay bales, y'all. It came and got them. Just cruising, Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton, you're sitting up straight today. You're, I'm slouching. I'm slacking. Gonna have good posture. Oh, gosh. We're all stopping for nothing. All right. I'll see you guys at Home Goods. We're getting close. All right. We're here at the fancy Home Goods. cannot believe this is an actual day today it is so beautiful outside like it's almost enough to where I could wear a jean jacket and it's 75 degrees wait did it go down 75 I think it went down oh my god it's fall y'all no anyways we just left home because we're gonna run Burlington is literally right here so we're just gonna run here really quick didn't see a whole lot here if we're being honest their little Halloween section I'll show you what it looked like it was pretty sparse Slim pickings, y'all. They had a bunch of gnomes. This one always has the most gnomes. I don't get it. They had like a bunch of stuffed Ray Dunn gnomes. They were um, like stuffed plush Ray Dunn. Uh, oh my gosh, that tree. Okay, I'm gonna go like this and just slowly drive by. Tell me you see it. Tell me you see it. Leaves are changing on that one. It's fall, y'all. They had a bunch of different gnomes. Said, uh, I think one said magic. One said candy corn. One said, I think happy Halloween or something. I mean, they're okay. I mean, and one said hocus pocus had a cauldron. We've seen that one. Anyways, we're just going to cruise across traffic. Watch out. Here we come. I think Burlington's in here, isn't it? Is Burlington no, no longer in here? Um, they also had a couple of other things, just random. Is Burlington not in here? So, I think maybe I was thinking of Steinmart. I thought it was Burlington. It's all right. There's a Burlington not far from here. So anyways, there wasn't much else down here. Like some tabletop decor signs that talked about Hocus Pocus. There was, there was like a metal tabletop decor that had witches. Um, like a bunch of witches over a cauldron. But yeah, mainly just witches and pretty dresses and gnomes. Well, they had plates. Um, we also saw the uh, skeleton with the top hat again today. This one always has really good dishware. This one does. I had a couple of Ray Dunn mugs that I saw. I saw, um, or not mugs. Like they had some mugs. They had the cat mugs, like with the cat toppers that said meow and something else or I don't know. They also had some wine glasses that we've seen, the stemless wine glasses, the Ray Dunn ones. There was another Ray Dunn thing that I saw at the checkout area. It said Wicked Witch on it. 
and it had a little um, witch hat on the top. But yeah, that's pretty much all we saw there. We did not see a lot. Anything I'm missing, I will continue to show here, but they did not have a lot. Now we're cruising out to, I don't know which one we're going to first. We're either going to Target or Burlington first. Can't get over how gorgeous it is today. It is so beautiful. I need my pumpkin spice. Give it to me. We're here at Burlington. Wait, where are we? We're here at Burlington. Mr. Skeleton, are you ready? All right, we're going in to Burlington. All right, just left Burlington, and they had a little Halloween out, so there is a code orange at Burlington. We're cruising to Joanne's next. Anyways, come on. Um, Mr. Skeleton, you're supposed to be holding that. Oh, stop sign. We stopped. We had a little area that had this really cool, it was like a skull, with a spider web bowl on top of it. It was metal. It reminded me a lot of the metal stuff at Ross. Um, but I, the reason I didn't get it is I didn't really like the skull. It was kind of short and squatty, but if you like the skull, then you definitely should check out this piece because it was really cool. It also had some picture frames, some like a tree, like a glittery kind of tree in Halloween colors. And then they also had some dish towels or hand towels got a peanuts one i always think i'm saying something else peanuts peanuts not <laughs> not gonna say it not pin 15 I'm not trying to say pin 15 if you know pin 15 club if you know that joke from <laughs> i got tricked on that one i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna tell the story really quick i think it was like elementary school right pin 15 club right and if you didn't play this game, then I'm just going to rock your world. Somebody would come up to you and say, hey, do you want to be part of the Pin 15 Club? We're, we're starting a new club. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll be in a club with you. The Pin 15 Club sounds cool enough. What are we, Pin Pals? Like, I thought, like, I love Pin Pals. I had a Pin Pal when I was a kid. I loved it. I thought it was like a Pin Pal Club. They're like, okay, well, what you have to do is we have to write it on your hand. To be part of the Pin 15 Club, you have to write it on your hand. So I put my hand out, let them write on my hand, pin 15. And if you write down pin 15 on a piece of paper or on your hand, if you want to, basically, I don't know what I can say, what I can't say on YouTube, but you have something that rhymes with Venus. And so then you just have it on your hand all day long and your <laughs> joke's on you. I mean, you could go wash it off, which is what I did, but I couldn't believe I fell for that one. Oh man, pin 15 club. If you know, you know. Anyways, peanuts. Uh, there was also a, uh, like a gnome towel. Was there a gnome towel? No, no, no. They had one that had a truck, a uh, Halloween hoedown style with skeletons and pumpkins in the back. They also had a, an orange one with black bats. I don't know what I'm thinking of now, but they had some dish towel or hand towel looking things. They also had some, a, a couple of cute Halloween cutting boards. One of them said, eat, drink, and be scary, I think, and had a skeleton hand. And then the other one was, it said Hocus Pocus on it, but it was like kind of colorful and had some grayish stuff on it. It had blankets, Halloween blankets. They had some really cute ones. They had a skull and crossbones one. They had um, a Tootsie Roll, Halloween Tootsie Roll one. They had an orange one with little skeletons all over it and little Jack, or no, it said, it had skeletons and said, happy Halloween. They had uh, some Sherpa looking ones that were these like, um, one that had a ghost and said boo, and it was a Sherpa one. They were $10 for the fleecy blankets. And then for the Sherpa ones, they were $12.99. I thought I grabbed one of the Sherpa ones and I didn't end up grabbing one. I almost ran back inside and grabbed one, but I'll, I'll get over it. So now we're cruising to Joann's. Uh, we are basically here and this person is not paying attention. I don't know if they're taking a nap or what they're doing, but you need to, to get it together, Acura. All right, we're here at Joanne's. Gosh, it's so nice out today. Yes. All right, we're running out of time. We gotta hurry. It's just left Joanne's and they had a couple of new things, mainly ceramic dishware type of pieces. Um, and like bakeware stuff. They didn't have any of their spooky line out yet, like their Halloween lines. I've seen some sneak peeks over on the Facebook group of kind of what's coming out. They have some cool gothic stuff that's gonna be out this year, some skull pieces and stuff. Um, I'm anxious to see it, but it's nowhere to be found at my Joann's. It was just a bunch of fall and then like one 
small aisle of Halloween uh, with a lot of the same stuff we've already seen, like the dish towels and that kind of stuff. So I didn't film any of that, but they did have a lot of ceramic pieces that we hadn't seen before. They had some jack-o'-lanterns. They had one with black and white stripes. They had a couple of different sized orange ones. They were like ceramic jack-o'-lanterns. They also had some ceramic pumpkins, kind of the same vibe, black and white stripes. I think they also had an orange and black stripes. Um, they had an oil slick black one and like an iridescent white one and they were just pumpkins. Um, also saw some cool ceramic ghosts that were really cute. A little mini ghost, a medium sized ghost, and then a larger ghost. They were all 50% off today. Uh, then I also saw some dishware, saw this ghost bowl looking thing. Um, it looked like a pregnant ghost with like a scoop in its belly or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just seeing things like I couldn't unsee that. Um, also, they had a chip and dip thing. It's like a spider web plate with a spider dip bowl thing. And there was also a little place. The thing I loved about this little chip and dip bowl thing. There was a little place to put a little spreader, like a dip spreader up at the top. So it was like a, it was a little spider. It was really cool. They had a little jack-o'-lantern container thing and a jack-o'-lantern bowl, ceramic bowl. They also had a plate, like a two-tiered spooky plate situation, a jack-o'-lantern plate, and I think that was it in this little area, but just a lot of ceramics that I hadn't seen before. Oh, they also had a little cauldron set, like a three cauldron, like where they're hanging set. Saw anything else, I'll show it here, um, but that was pretty much all that was in here that we hadn't seen yet. Everything else was the towels and the decorative boxes that we've already seen. All some really cool stuff in the bakeware area. Saw they had a little Hocus Pocus collection thing with Hocus Pocus cookie cutters, Hocus Pocus spatulas and uh, silicone spoons and uh, little Hocus Pocus molds uh, that, that had little different characters. They also had a mug couple of spooky mugs that were hocus pocus one said binks is my spirit animal and the other one was can't remember uh sanderson sister or sanderson thing also saw a uh nightmare before christmas spatula set thing it wasn't a set it was just like spatulas and uh nightmare before christmas cookie cutters it was like a very similar vibe but with nightmare before christmas also saw some um okay these really cool reusable Ziploc baggies. I uh, had skeletons. They were Halloween reusable baggies. I'm so excited about those. And just like some other sprinkles and stuff. I didn't get all the little sprinkles and everything. They were just like, you know, basic Halloween sprinkles. They weren't anything too fancy there that caught my eye. So I didn't really get too in depth with them because I was kind of on a little bit of a time crunch. So that is it for today. We are done Halloween decor hunting. All right, hey everyone. So today we are not Halloween decor hunting. I was coming on here really quickly because I'm, I'm finishing up editing this video right now. My aunt and uncle are in town from California. So I'm going out to my mom's right now to go see them for a couple hours. Shoot, I forgot the buns. <sighs> anyway, so... Um, I had a bun ready to go to whatever. So the whole moral of the story is, I don't know what my whole point is. Oh, first of all, I'm really sorry. These Halloween decor hunting videos are so behind. We are just now getting into September with these videos, but I've been filming every, not every day, but like several times a week. My main issue has just been keeping up with editing and then trying to get decorating videos. Like I have a bunch of stuff filmed and now I just gotta be editing and it's just... I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a bunch of videos come out, a lot, a lot of them coming out, which is perfect. Just in time for the end of September, early October, all the Halloween festivities. So anyways, I'm editing this video, getting it out, but there was one entire section where I went to Home Goods and my sound just completely isn't there in the video. I'm just sitting there talking to myself, but I can't hear anything coming out of my mouth. So. Um, I figured I'd really quickly in here put what I saw because I was actually just going to leave it out completely. We saw some really good dishware and I want to talk about it. So um, 
this day at Home Goods, and I'm remembering it based on I was looking at the footage last night, trying to determine if this was something I was going to keep or not. So uh, I know I so it's fresh in my mind. So uh, we saw some really good plateware. I don't recall now that I'm thinking about it what we saw in the regular aisle. I don't remember it being very memorable or exciting. But if there's anything that was there, then I'll show it here. Anything in the the regular area. But I do recall seeing a bunch of stuff in the dishware area. There was so much dishware. They had uh, a couple of peanuts things. We've seen this dishware before. They had the whole set though. They had the bowls and they had the plates and I think they had a couple different bowls and mugs and they had the whole peanuts Snoopy and a pumpkin set. Also had a really, really cool Nightmare Before Christmas dish set. The outside they have these really this pretty intricate design that almost looked like a damask print or something like that. But it had Jack Skellington in there, like his little head in there. And there was a, a Jack Skellington head on the center of the plate. Probably my favorite Nightmare Before Christmas set I've seen this year so far. They also had some really cool Ray Dunn pieces. They had this one Ray Dunn piece that was this mug that said Hocus Pocus, and it had a witch flying on a broom in front of a moon, like a crescent moon. The only reason I, and I'm regretting not picking that up, but it just seemed like the witch at the top wasn't a very structured, like it, it looked like it could easily break. Um, it was kind of thinner, but also I couldn't really tell what the, if, what the witch was doing. Like you can't really see her silhouette that well, but I should have grabbed it anyways. Cause my husband was like, have you seen this one? I saw it on the group and I was like, dang it. I did see it and I didn't get it. So then I saw a, a mug that was orange. It said trick or treat. And it had the little jack-o-lantern topper on it. And then they also had a Ray Dunn bowl and it says treats on it and it has little jack-o'-lanterns all over it. They also had those mugs that we hadn't seen. We didn't see these last year. Um, they were the, from that one brand. They're like these hand-painted mugs. They're really, really cool. They had a couple of different ones. They had one with cats in costumes, I think. Maybe they had a couple with cats in costumes. One may have had dogs on it also, but um, they had just different cats on it. Um, and then on the inside, it says something like trick or treat or happy Halloween. Like it says different things on the inside. And there's also on the inner lip of the teacup mug thing, it has like little cute little designs as well. They had a couple different ones. Uh, some of them I had seen before and a couple new ones that I hadn't seen before. What other plateware? I don't know. There was so much to see. So much in this little plateware area and a lot of really, 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 really cute stuff. Also, we're gonna do spooky family mail. The only reason I didn't do spooky family mail this time was because I needed to do this because there was no sound on an entire home goods, really good home goods ceramic section. So I added this at the end. And then the next couple of videos will do spooky family mail. I've got a lot to show you I'm really excited about. Okay, I'm almost to my mom, so I'm gonna let you guys go. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Yeah, let me know down in the comments anything you're finding out there still or if you're done. Are you done buying and you're just decorating now? Let me know in the comments. But hope you're having a beautiful, amazing September. And um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.